Thanks for finding us on YouTube. I am meteorologist John Dawson. This, of course, is the Fox 26 tropical update on what's happening uh, in the tropics, and we're definitely looking at a few things to talk about. Uh, we'll start with what's sort of impacting uh, the tropics as well as what's impacting us here in Southeast Texas. The folks in the Houston area, of course, watching more of that Saharan dust. We're going to get another wave of it here. Notice on our future cast, we'll roll through this again on Tuesday, Wednesday, it's Thursday when that next wave really begins to arrive and further down to the south as well. If you happen to be joining us from South Texas or Corpus Christi, uh, you are going to definitely see more of that dust, just like we're going to see here in Houston arriving again in that Thursday time frame, more or less, as we're looking for that next wave to kind of move through. And remember, this is helpful in keeping a lot of activity from forming. So while all this dust is down in the Caribbean. It's helping to prevent some of that development and we're going to look at what could be developing in the Caribbean in just a moment, but I'll switch to our satellite, our visible satellite to kind of watch what's over in the Pacific side of things. And we've got one area of disturbed weather uh, over more or less it's near Central America over to the west of that that could develop into something. But off the Mexican coast, we are looking at a tropical storm that has developed switching to that uh, I our imagery, you can see a little bit more of that organization to it. And this is Tropical Storm Blas, and it will continue to strengthen, become a little bit more organized. We're looking at the 4 p.m. update from Tuesday that we're getting here from the National Hurricane Center, and it is currently looking at maximum sustained winds at 50 miles an hour. Of course, that track is going to continue to take it out into the Pacific, so good news for the folks on the west coast of Mexico. Not going to see this storm or possible hurricane tomorrow uh, move towards there. So we're definitely looking at Wednesday afternoon. That's when we're expecting it to become a hurricane with max winds about 80 miles an hour, and then it'll maintain, maintain that into Thursday. This is kind of a slow mover, not really moving that fast, only five miles an hour uh, in a movement. And it'll again continue to get more organized and gain more strength. And for those keeping track of what's happening in the Pacific, remember the Atlantic and the Pacific use a different list of names. And so this is the second name storm. Uh, Celia will be the next name storm that's going to be happening over in the Pacific. Now we'll switch gears and get back into the Atlantic, which is what we're focused on most of the time here across the continental US, where we're seeing quiet activity for the most part out in the Atlantic as well as the Caribbean. We talk talked about all that dust that's currently in the Caribbean. That's one of the reasons why the National Hurricane Center, the spot they've identified, it's really three to five days out that they would expect to see something develop. It, they do say within the next two days is a 30% chance, but they'll bump those chances up a little bit more. And part of that has to do with the dust. Part of it has to do with some of that uh, upper level winds and just some overall organization that could be taking place. But this is sort of what we're looking at. And again, the Hurricane Center Center is noticing a 40% chance over the next five days uh, that something could form in this area, that southwestern corner uh, of the Caribbean uh, as a possibility. And while we're talking about names, we'll put the Atlantic names up again as well. And we are looking at Bonnie to be the next name storm still uh, here because we've just had the one Alex so far. Glad you found us here on YouTube. Just a reminder, this is good for us to, to sort of continuing to think about our hurricane preparations. I've got a great segment that I enjoy producing. It's called the Hurricane Gear Test. If you want to look on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, You'll get more information on the hurricane gear test and those come out every week. We create a new one and put those out on money. So if you get a chance, look me up. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. We'll be back here again tomorrow with another update on YouTube.